this is something that I have really enjoyed doing. And uh, the fact that this is its fourth year is even more fun than it was last year, the year before, or the year before that. Elizabeth Montgomery's time on the iconic sitcom Bewitched remains etched in television history as she charmed audiences with her portrayal of the delightful witch Samantha Stevens. But recent revelations shed new light on the unexpected cancellation of the show, adding intrigue to Montgomery's legacy. Join Facts First as we present Elizabeth Montgomery quit Bewitched immediately after her incident on set. Bewitched Bewitched is a beloved American sitcom that aired from 1964 to 72, captivating audiences with a blend of fantasy and comedy. The show quickly became a cultural phenomenon. Created by Saul Sachs and produced by Screen Gems for ABC, Bewitched follows the life of Samantha Stevens, a witch played by the talented Elizabeth Montgomery, who falls in love with and marries a mortal man named Darren Stevens, portrayed initially by Dick York and later by Dick Sargent due to York's health issues. The plot centers on Samantha's attempts to navigate the challenges of suburban life while concealing her magical abilities from her nosy neighbors and conforming to mortal standards. However, Samantha's magical family, including mischievous mother Endora, played by Agnes Moorhead, often disrupts her efforts, leading to humorous situations and conflicts with her mortal husband. The show's ratings remain consistently high throughout its run, making it one of the most popular sitcoms of its time. And according to Elizabeth, it was an overall great experience. With its charming cast, witty writing, and enchanting premise, Bewitched continues to enchant audiences through syndication. Elizabeth's Early Life Elizabeth was born April 15, 1933, in L.A. She was born into Hollywood royalty as daughter of Robert Montgomery, a renowned actor and director, and Elizabeth Brian Allen, a stage actress. Growing up in such a prestigious family, Montgomery was exposed to the entertainment industry from an early age and showed a natural talent for acting. She attended the Spence School in New York City and later studied at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Her early exposure to the world of acting and her formal training laid a solid foundation for her future career. In 1951, at age 18, Montgomery made her professional debut in her father's television series, Robert Montgomery Presents. This marked the beginning of her journey into acting. In the following years, she honed her craft through various stage productions, TV appearances, and film roles. She appeared in several dramas and anthology series, some of her early notable works being roles in Studio One, The Twilight Zone, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Career Highlights her career reached its zenith with her iconic role as Samantha Stevens. Premiering in 64, Bewitched became an instant hit and catapulted Montgomery to superstardom. As Samantha, she captivated audiences with her wit, charm, and impeccable comedic timing. The show's blend of fantasy, humor, and relatable domestic situations resonated with viewers. Her portrayal of Samantha earned her widespread acclaim and several award nominations, including multiple Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Her on-screen chemistry with co-stars like Dick York and later Dick Sargent, Agnes Moorhead, and Paul Lind contributed to the show's enduring success. And while she had good things to say about being on the show, in later years it was potentially a touchy subject. But on an episode of The Dennis Miller Show in 1992, after a fan in the audience yelled out that he loved Elizabeth, Dennis joked to her that she should wiggle her nose at the man. It was a playful moment, but Elizabeth found it unsettling. He's one of those guys who screams at an opportune moment. He's like I the guy who holds that. up the I John 360. Oh, you. wiggle your nose Thank for you. him, oh. a little Man, you can't do that nowadays in Hollywood. Everybody thinks you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, Montgomery seems a bit embarrassed by the association and even says shame on you to Dennis. Beyond Bewitched, Montgomery's career boasted a diverse array of roles across film, television, and stage. She showcased her dramatic prowess in TV movies and miniseries, earning critical acclaim for performances in projects like The Legend of Lizzie Borden, for which she received an Emmy nomination. Her versatility as an actress was further demonstrated in her stage work, including her acclaimed portrayal of Mary Surratt in the Broadway production of The Last Yankee. Throughout her career, she remained a beloved figure in entertainment, known for her talent, professionalism, and commitment to her craft. Even beyond her passing in 1995, 
Elizabeth Montgomery's influence and impact on popular culture endure today. Personal life. Her personal life was as captivating as her on-screen performances. She was married four times, with each relationship leaving a mark on her journey. Her most notable marriage was to William Asher, director and producer of Bewitched. Montgomery and Asher tied the knot in 1963, just a year before the premiere of the iconic sitcom. Their union produced three children, William Billy Asher III, Robert Asher, and Rebecca Asher. Despite the success of the professional collaboration they had on Bewitched, their marriage faced challenges leading to their divorce in 1973. Prior to Bill Asher, she was married to socialite Frederick Common in 1954 for one year. She was also married to actor Gig Young. That marriage lasted from 1956 to 63. In 1993, she married actor Robert Foxworth, and they remained together until she died in 1995 though the two had lived together for 20 years prior. Despite the ups and downs of her personal life, she remained dedicated to her family and career. New Revelations About the Show's Cancellation The cancellation of Bewitched came as a disappointment to both its creators and loyal fan base. Towards the end of its eighth season, there were plans for the show to continue, but its sudden cancellation caught many by surprise. For many years, it was assumed that there were a variety of factors that contributed to the abrupt cancellation. People assumed it had to do with evolving landscape of television during the late 60s and early 70s, and that the network wanted to refresh its lineup with newer, trendier shows to appeal to changing audience tastes, or that there were financial considerations or disagreements over contract terms that influenced the decision to end the series. But new revelations have surfaced that shed light on the actual reason. Peter Ackerman's book, Mom, Dad, Me, and Classic TV, provides an insider's perspective on the golden age of television. Drawn from his unique experiences as the son of Harry Ackerman, the executive producer of iconic shows like Bewitched and actress Eleanor Donahue. In it, Peter gives a behind-the-scenes look at the real reason Bewitched went off the air. He has a distinct memory of his father getting a phone call from Elizabeth Montgomery after a particular day of filming in the eighth and final season. At that point, the show was slated to run into a ninth and tenth. Earlier in the day, Peter had been on set and heard the director make a slightly sexualized comment towards Montgomery. This was important for two reasons. One was that for most of the show, the direction had been handled by Elizabeth's husband, Bill Asher. But suddenly, there was a new director at the helm, Richard Michaels. What Peter didn't realize at the time, since he was 10, was that there was more to this remark than casual sexism, which was rampant on sets at that time either way. Instead, it was a revelation of what was going on behind the scenes, namely that Elizabeth and Bill were split up and headed towards divorce, and that she was dating Richard. The other reason it was important was because it was the catalyst behind the show's cancellation. Because it was that day when Montgomery called up Peter's father, Harry, and demanded that Bill Asher be fired from the show. But Harry wouldn't go along with it. According to Peter, quote, My dad said, Liz, Bill Asher is my partner. I'm not going to do that to him. And she said, well then, Bewitched is done. And that was it. Instead of continuing on to seasons 9 and 10, the show was canceled. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised by the revelation about the real reason Bewitched was canceled? Let us know in the comments section below.